Joining us on Panthers TV with the GMB for the first time since the announcement, David Clark. It's a tough interview to do because obviously it's tinged a little bit of sadness. You've been around for so long, you've been a Panther for so long and now next year, not anymore. It's going to be a totally different Panther team. What, how are you feeling in the immediate aftermath? The, the news has come out, Twitter and social media are, are just flooding with lovely messages about you. How does it feel in the morning now that it's happened? Yeah, it's kind of, um, you know, obviously when you you know that's what you're doing, but obviously you, you can't really say anything because there's a right way to kind of do it. So, so yeah, um, it's nice that it's kind of out there and I can just focus on, you know, having a great uh, four or five weeks here and, um, and, and hopefully go out in style. Now, when athletes retire, there's normally kind of two reasons for it to happen. They call it themselves, they go, I'm happy with everything I've done, this is where I want to stop, or kind of father time forces them into that decision. For you, it's very much a case of the former. You, you've decided this. This is completely off your own back and nothing's forcing you into this decision. No, oh no, no, not been forced into it. But, you know, obviously there, there comes a time as a professional athlete when you have to start thinking about the future. I'm 36 years old. I'm, I'm not young as a as a hockey player anymore, that's for sure. And, um, you know, I've had an amazing time being a, being a Panther. Everything about my time here is is smiles and enjoyment and you know when you get to 36 you know there comes a, you have to be honest and and you know it it is a perfect time for me I, I've always wanted to go out and at the top I feel this is the top it's the biggest club in the country and you know I'm, I'm proud that I've spent so much time here and uh, so it's, it's perfect for me it's great for my family and yeah I, I look forward to, to the next chapter. Now, I think my favourite quote from your interview with Gary yesterday was, Peter Pan has to grow up, you've got to leave Never Neverland. But it's kind of ironic because the reason you've been able to stay at the top of the game for so long is your game has grown up. You've gone from being the goal scorer to being the team player and having started off as the back checker and you've, you've evolved your game to stay consistently a top level player. Has that been something, is that anyone can do or is that something that's kind of been special about your game that you think you've really worked hard on? I think, I think it comes down to being a professional. I think um, to be successful, uh, as be part of successful teams, you have to find where you fit on that team. And I've been fortunate to have a lot of great coaches. Corey's been obviously the, the longest coach I've played under and uh, I've always found, found a niche for me. Um, if I've had to evolve my game, they've told me. I've never, um, I've never been too proud to think I'm, I'm too good or, or not good enough to do something. I've always listened. If they believe in me to do that role, then I'll jump at it and try and become as good as it as, I, as good at it as I can. And um, yeah, I think over the years I've been pretty consistent, and um, you know I'm pleased that you know I've played different roles on in championships over the years. And uh, yeah, I say I just hope I can just play one more role here down the stretch. Now, obviously, in sport, the term legend is thrown around too much, um, but you could be, you'll be retiring the game as the most appearances all time as a Panther, over 750 games you've played for us. Uh, you're fifth currently on the all-time points list, but just three behind to go fourth, and then you're looking at the likes of Chick Zamek, Poor Lady, Strongman, probably probably a slight stretch for them because they're nearly at the thousand mark and then on goals you're fourth all time as well that's some pretty great company i think deserving of the tag legend i know you might not love the the word but it and top all point scorer in the ihl all time those are some pretty great personal accolades aren't they yeah they are um you know something which i probably will actually reflect on a bit once i've retired and uh, got a bit more time on my hands but um yeah it, you know to achieve those things you can't do it on your own. I've said it multiple times. I've had some, some fantastic teammates and, you know, l line mates over the years that I'll be able to create great chemistry with. And, uh, you know, thankful I have been on the end or of or supplying goals um, a lot of the time. But, but, yeah, the thing for me will always be the championships. Um, they're, they're so much so much more special and, you know, kind of thinking about them a bit more you know recently it, it, it's been some great moments here you know ones which will stay with me forever like it does you know with the fans when 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 they witness them too so so yeah um everything's happy and uh, yeah I don't know really legend that's, that's, that's you can call me that I guess but well I think the club is definitely calling you that because you've been stepping on the ice for 10-15 years at the Motorport Arena and every time you've looked up at the names Rippingale, Weber, Haddon, Aidy, Nielsen, Clark Five's going to be up there now. That that must be a pretty great feeling and something you maybe never thought you'd see when you first stepped on the ice for the Panthers. Jeez, no. Uh, when I first came, it was more a case of just trying to hold a spot down in, in the lineup. Um, 
yeah, I, I obviously know the history of this club and, and those people are extremely um, special people that have done a lot for the club. Yeah, so to be uh, up there alongside those guys is, is a massive privilege and one which I'm, I'm really appreciative for, that's for sure. Now, you say Corey's been your longest serving coach. I mean, the two of you have been part of the team since something, consistently part of the team since 08 09 when you came back from Italy. You and Corey have been here ever since. Kind of with, with you leaving and, and Corey leaving, I mean, end of an era isn't isn't thrown around lightly. That's a pretty fair term for it. Yeah, I, I guess it is. Um, you know, I was this I say before kind of the mutual agreement for Corey and, and the Panthers. Um, this was on my mind anyway, and um, yeah, so it kind of it's just coincided that way. And uh, yeah, it will be will be an end of an era. But in sport, that happens. You know, you can think of multiple you know clubs and t you know that have moved on from from really successful eras and and that happens um i think the club will still continue to be successful no doubt and it's got great backing great supporters and i say i kind of look forward to just kind of looking in and and seeing it be successful and, and knowing that you know i may have played a small part in kind of that that progress into where it is now um you know i don't know if i'll be here every week that might be a little too tough <laughs> early doors but yeah i'll definitely be uh, you know gradually gradually come into a few more games and and seeing how it's going now obviously stepping away from hockey but still going to be running the Clark hockey camps would you say that kind of the development of younger players that, and you've seen it with the likes of Ollie Betridge on our team and Robert Lakovic do you think the development of younger Brits has been maybe one of the, your favorite marks on the game that you may have been able to leave yeah I love that that's um you know I, I was really fortunate when I got in when I got turned professional um it was at an era where British players were kind of dipping, there wasn't that much opportunity and fortunately enough I was good enough to get in there and um, the imported players, the more established Brits really kind of took a liking to me I guess and helped me progress and find my feet at that level a lot a lot quicker. You know, it's like 16 year old, 17 year old and that's something that's really important that continues here, you know, as the the, the sport grows in this country because it is tough for these guys to go from junior hockey into the environment of professional hockey, which is so quick around around seasoned professionals from North America, Sweden, Finland, all over the world. So, you know, it's important that we continue that. And um, I've, I'll, I'll always run my hockey schools for as long as I can because I love doing that. Obviously, Morgan, my son, growing up doing it, and Corey's kids and Ollie. And there's quite a few players around the league now that come to my hockey schools when they first started and that's always a good sign where you might not want to start thinking about retiring too because you know you, they used to be 10 years old when they turned up so so yeah I, I'm super passionate about that um, I want to see the game grow in, in England I want to see well, Britain sorry um, I want to see more Brits kind of become established players in the league as a whole and uh, I think it's, it's gradually getting there again now you know Tet's doing great doing really good obviously Ollie's established now but you know Jordan is, is coming into his own he had a little setback and then Joe you know on, on Thursday it was just great having him out there getting some minutes turning 17 you know these, these are people which you know they've been kids when I first got here and, and now they're they're making a mark and you know I look forward to seeing how they go as with you know Stevie Farms Lacco you know they're, they're young men well they're not young men anymore they're they're, they're seasoned professionals that are you know heading towards 30 years old and you know they're going into that role now too so it'd be nice to see them flourish in that position. Now you've done a lot of media over the last few days so I'm going to let you go just one last question obviously the trophies are happy moments the goals are happy moments every point's a happy moment but when you look back on your career is there one line that you look at and go like that's the happiest I've been playing hockey that's the most fun I've had stepping onto the ice? Wow, um, that's, a, that's a tough question. Um, I've played with some great, great players. Um, I think to single out a line would be extremely unfair. Um, geez, uh, you know, it, it's, there's been so many. Geez, yeah, I, I'd say Cam Jansen's, Brian McGranton's, Guy Lapine's, they're guys which make everyone's life a lot easier. Um, and testament to what they do when I've played for them, they've always been amazing. When I first came here, Kadot, Jinmans, they took a liking to me. I fitted in with them for a while and, geez, they gave me so many empty net goals because no one worried about me when I was younger and that got me onto the onto the map. Um, and then, yeah, going into my career, uh, Matthew Myers, I played with him for a big period and, you know, I don't think he ever really gets credit for how 
good a player he is. He's under the radar and he's always kind of, we always had good chemistry. Farm, Stevie, I could go on forever, you know, like, you know, this season's team, we've got unbelievable players. Um, I, I could go on, I, I can't even think to be honest, but yeah, you know, every, every team that I've played with, you know, it's always been a privilege and, um, you know, we've always seemed to have done pretty well together and, um, you know, I, I don't really know what to say, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 they're all special, everything's special. All right, well, thank you so much, David, and uh, enjoy the next five weeks, the last five weeks, unfortunately, and here's to a very happy retirement and life after hockey. Thank you very much, Cal. Thanks.